do realize that they breached their contract with you, Visionary Vehicles. Even though your hindsight is 2020, do you think that the reason they basically set this number of 200 million for you to raise is they thought it was impossible for you to raise it, and what they were really doing during that time was doing intelligence on you, intelligence on the American market, and basically almost stealing your contacts and everything that you were basically building up for them on the cheap. I think you're 100% accurate. I think that's could exactly you give what us, we're Could doing. you give us the backstory when you realized what was actually happening and how you realized what their intent was? Well, first of all, it was it really difficult looking back for me to realize that's what they're doing because it didn't make any sense. I really did think they wanted to come to the United States market. If they really did, what was happening could not have been better for them. They were getting great publicity. People were accepting the fact that a Chinese car could be good, and dealers were putting $2 million in escrow. That's unheard of. Nothing could have been more uh, positive to show that what we were doing really made a lot of sense and they would win. I didn't get that their short-term goal was not that. Their short-term goal was get the $200 million because that allowed them to get $6.5 billion from the Chinese government. I didn't know all those little nuances. But when I got George Soros to put up $200 million, and all of a sudden after doing due diligence and everybody meeting in China and saying we're going to go forward, and then three days later as I walked into their office in New York and he says, we're not going to give you too much of an explanation, but we're pulling out of the deal. After everybody said they were, of course I didn't know that my executive vice president had visited them and told them to take the money out and come directly to Cherry, which we found out they did. That I didn't know. When they told me they're going to leave the money in escrow until I can find somebody else, I got really worried because that's not a style to be that nice. And then when we got another company, the Israeli Corporation, to put out $200 million, and I said, I'm having a little problem trusting the Chinese. I need you to sign all these papers that says, oh, there's no, they're not going to go around us. And they signed them and said, but you can trust us. We would never do anything like that. And then, of course, they did and gave the $200 million. So that's another wonderful suit that we get to play out. 